Okay, I am configuring my KDE on first run. Right click, panel options, panel settings, screen edge, let's change the width, takes a second. Okay, apparently there's a bug. There's a bug with this, so we got to make get rid of the activities. It's hard to understand what they even do. I do like to be able to share the desktop. Okay, let's go to panel options, panel settings, more settings, windows can cover. Okay, don't accidentally click remove this panel. It looks exactly like this one that closes it. That's a bug that I've reported, and nobody cares. Okay. Let's change the settings on this folder. It's probably the desktop. Right now I'm logged in as Ubuntu because I am uh, creating something for a live CD. But uh, that's okay. Let's change the setting here and make it show that's the desktop. Desktop. Okay, we want small icons. Everything locked in place, locked to grid. Apply. Okay, let's add another widget. Let's kind of move this. I'll add a few more. You can see which ones I add later. Uh, add widget. Where's quick launch? You have to start typing Q. Typing Q U I. Quick launch. Quick launch. Goes well right up here. Hello. There we go. That worked. Okay, let's add a folder view. I already have a few extra programs installed. Uh, adding another folder view. This is why I want the icons to be small. Uh, I don't even know why they're so big to begin with. Oh, I guess uh, some people have high resolution displays. Okay, settings. Home is good. Uh, I like to have some other folders. You'll see those in the final picture. Uh, this one's home. Small. I would change the color, but there's no way to change the color right now. Kind of sad. Okay, the other major thing to add on the desktop is a device notifier. This will let you know uh, how to get to the files on the removable media that you add. Um, device notifier. Okay. And we need to change this to show all devices. Okay. Now I would normally add the media folder, just slash media, and that would show me the actual mount point for these devices. But this lets me recognize which system I'm actually on. <clears throat> okay, let's change some system settings. Actually, let's add some launchers. The first launcher that you need to add is probably Kate and console. And it doesn't show it. So utilities Kate. Okay. Add launcher, you'll add Firefox and Chromium. There's Chromium. And the console is the other thing that 
everybody should have. It's not under this utilities, even though it has a picture of the console. I filed that bug too. Nobody cares. Console. Okay. There we go. That's probably good for now. Uh, so I'm not trying to get into any of my programs. I'm not demonstrating that these actually work because I don't want to change any uh, other settings. Uh, ooh, I don't know how to use this. I go to applications, go to internet. How do I get back to the last one? Anyway, maybe it's this thing, but it's really not intuitive. So you right click here, switch to classic. This has a lot less mouse moving, and it works really good. Okay. Oh, my tapping is misconfigured. Uh, I will likely screw everything up with just a brush of my finger across the trackpad. Let's go to system settings. Center settings. To input devices. Touchpad. Scrolling, scrolling, tapping. Tapping is evil. Disable all of them. There's a reason why you have two mouse bu buttons right next to each other. I will only buy a system that has two mouse buttons right next to each other. That allows for easy use of them. So I will use a, a, an older computer just because it has a better user interface. Okay. Let's change some other settings to make the computer faster. Let's see what's in application parents. Oxygen is pretty. You can configure it here. Fine tuning. There we go. I have low CPU. I don't know if it's faster to say I have a higher display resolution than I really have, but for now I'm going to say I have a low display resolution because I do have a low display resolution. So that should adjust the rendering so it's a lot faster. I don't understand why they don't just have the fast rendering anyway. Uh, colors. I don't care about the colors right now. You can play with the colors all you want. Uh, workspace appearance. Let's scroll up. This B2 is awesome. If you haven't used BOS, uh, uh, it used to be for Macintoshes, anyway, and then it came out for PC. It saves screen space. It's a little bit annoying sometimes, but it's a good compromise for computers that you have low amounts of screen space. Okay. Um... Oh, input devices. They probably have this silly thing, the, if it's a double click or single click is not anything to do with uh, the mouse settings, it has to do with the programs, but they hide it under here, under mouse. And you should always have double click to open files and folders, because if you don't, you can easily delete the stuff, especially with tapping. Okay, let's open Dolphin. Dolphin needs some configurations. This hides a lot of information. Waste space. It's hard to organize. What you need to do is uh, view it in columns or details mode. You can add a few more columns here, and they will be adding more useful details, uh, like f what the file type is and all that stuff. I'm not going to get into all that. Let's go to settings here. Um, configure dolphin and uh, we need to set it so that it uses the same view mode for everything 
it will accidentally uh, uh, if you click on a folder it'll be completely different every time you click on it it's very annoying okay there's another spot to change the global setting uh, use common view it's under general it's use common view properties for all folders this should be default otherwise it's too confusing uh, ooh they do have rename in line that's a nice feature uh, there may be a reason for accessibility to have it come up in a pop-up line, but for now I'm going to keep it like that. Previews. I don't want previews by default. Uh, you may want to turn that back on. I should have probably just left those on. Uh, directories. Oh, that's something else. On your desktop, you need to turn off uh, previews. Hit settings here. Turn off previews. I went back to. You should probably turn off previews here. Because if you download uh, something, uh, everybody will see it when they walk by your desktop. Okay, that's about 12 minutes. Uh, you can right click here and say lock widgets. Don't say lock screen, even though it's right there, but lock widgets. And that's a basic configuration. Other than uh, fine adjustments, oh, let's change desktop settings. Uh, the wallpaper should be a color. That makes it go a lot faster. It's nice if you choose a color that's similar to the one they already have. Okay. I wonder if it'll do a gradient. Let's do a vertical gradient. Just eh. can't tell if there's a gradient or not, but uh, I'll probably switch that back to a solid color for actual distribution. And then I probably want to change that. There's a couple other things to change, but that's the basic gist of making the desktop be usable in KDE. Thank you.